Pittsburgh, no, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Gold domes on high schools. That makes sense. Welcome zombies. Today we're in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. The hypothesis is that there were previous advanced prosperous civilizations in these lands, the US of A as we now call it, and there are leftovers of those civilizations, some still intact, some in ruins, all over the place actually. So here's the United States and we're in the northeastern corner in the state of Massachusetts, in the western side on the western side of Massachusetts looking at this city of Pittsfield. It says by the end of the Revolutionary War Pittsfield had grown to nearly 2,000 residents and then Colonel John Brown began accusing Benedict Arnold of being a traitor and Arnold def uh, or Brown wrote in his winter handbill then this is the point that I want to make here is money is this man's God and to get enough of it he would sacrifice his country. And all I really want to say here, uh, I'm not reading into who these people are so much, but just want to say that that is true, that those people do exist, that f for money, for other reasons, will just completely do awful things, even lie to an entire country's population, the entire world's population, and a lot worse than just lying about things. And then I wanted to touch on real quick this building called the Berkshire Athenaeum. And this type of architecture is very unique. I'm gonna say excessive. And I also came across the same type of architecture in Hartford, Connecticut. And I didn't know what Athenium was, so I looked into that and found a definition that it's a temple primarily dedicated to Athena or her Roman equivalent, Minerva. So once again, we're seeing perfectly matching ancient Roman architecture with references to ancient goddesses. And of course, the GOV owns this now, and so what's the story of how that came to be? The original Berkshire Athenium building was erected in two years. That's it, magically. This insane, perfectly ancient architecture, just two years, mind you, horse and buggy time period, as a free gift from the railway magnate and native son, Thomas Allen. And here we've got the Allen Monument, which is the world's largest red granite obelisk. And in my Bennington, Vermont video, I touched a lot on obelisks. I highly recommend that you watch that video. We've got some amazing ones and a lot of them all over the country, ancient leftover ones. Also in my Sharon Vermont video, I show another one of the, not a red granite, but just a like regular gray granite. They say this one was erected in 1885, stands 42 feet tall, weighs 45 tons. It is the largest polished piece of red granite in the world. It says, although there are larger stones, they are not polished. The polishing was a big deal on the granite obelisk in Sharon, Vermont as well, and I talk a little bit about why that is in that video. And it says it took one year and 25 men using, here we go, special tools and techniques. That's, that's the knowledge, the information I would get about how to build a 45 ton red granite polished obelisk in 1885 Special tools and technique techniques, that's what we get. To shine and buff the stone until it gleamed. Before the work was completed, an accident broke off six feet from the tip, reducing the original 48 feet to 42 feet. I've talked about the tips called pyramidians. Oftentimes they were made of gold. I talked about this in the Bennington, Vermont video, where of course, though like any that were still sitting around, which were a lot of obelisks, most of their pyramidians got robbed they got taken they got destroyed they got and so that's what we're seeing here when it says it got knocked from 48 feet to 42 feet that's because someone went and copped the gold pyramidian that was 
on top of this previously. And then it was repointed, and although no longer a perfect obelisk, still very impressive. I mean, just how sad, guys. In a random spot, in a cemetery, 45 ton, pure red granite polished obelisk, built by Special Tools and Techniques in 1885. This thing, wow. I mean, Agricultural National Bank. Yeah, this was a, I spent a lot of time looking at this one in person. Just so impressive. The columns, the pillars, everything about it, just amazing. Here's the armory in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Impressive, but not nearly impressive as some of these other armories we've seen. This one's interesting, they call it the balance rock. Um, I'm actually gonna talk a lot more about this moving forward in, in future videos, really provide some good evidence for it. I've touched on it a little bit previously, but rocks, mountains are uh, just not, you know, what, what we think of mother nature just kind of throwing them out there. Really impressive brick church, and clearly, you know, tower's been cut off on the top here. They added a little piece, but there was much more on top of this tower at some point. And here's the Berkshire Courthouse, clearly a much older, ancient, matching Roman architecture, Greek architecture building. And you can see that it's got uh, this top piece on it with little spires and all these windows. And on lots of these buildings, like if we just go back, even just right here, like on this one, you know, it's just been stripped on top and just perfectly flat, where it probably at some point had something like this or maybe something even a lot more extravagant than this. But yeah, on lots of these, so many of these, like just tops have been taken off multiple, even some of the multiple stories, huge towers have been taken off the top. And then another one I've learned about recently, I'll talk about this more in later videos, but they'll oftentimes take the, since the floors of these buildings were are so tall, they're much taller than the floors that we build now, they've actually taken many of these buildings and turned floors into two floors. They go in there and they add a ceiling that you can also walk on top of, a ceiling and a floor, to divide one floor into two, you know, and being able to run out offices or more apartments or whatever to just make more money out of these buildings. But again, just to think that these stories are that tall and all made out of rock and stone and just amazing interiors and that it was the cowboys with horse and buggy back then that did that. This one's a high school. I mean, what in the world, really? What a insane high school. Look at this bridge <laughs> leading to the high school. That's gnarly. This one's very interesting. This is inside of that colonial theater that we looked at. And I think they have done some renovation and stuff in there. I guess at some point it looked like this. And you know, this could be what I refer to as the gold rush. You know, we're told they went and panned flakes out of a river, 
but I think there was amazing ancient architecture with all sorts of gold and precious valuable gems and stones and metals. People just went around and stripped them for everything they had, most of them. There's still some sitting around with a lot of amazingness inside of them, like our Capitol buildings, for example. So that granite red obelisk was in the Pittsfield Cemetery. And here's the entrance to the cemetery. I don't know if it looks like this currently. I didn't go there. I wish I would have, knowing now knowing this, and now, and know, now knowing that there's a red granite obelisk, but I just didn't know that when I was there. And this is insane. I mean, look at this entrance clearly ancient like matches all the ancient exactly that in any other part of the world and then got this structure back here with the little tower on it here's the city hall really cool big pillars out front clearly ancient architecture the county jail <laughs> oh my gosh all right so look at the dome that we've got on top of this county jail i mean this is a really nice county jail and you can see how much deeper it goes into the earth as you see the hill slope down over here and then we've got another tower it looks like that might be connected to it down there wow for a jail wow i like these types of buildings a lot we just saw one in adams massachusetts as well they're a lot like the uh the flat iron building in in new york city here's a look at one of the mills that dotted massachusetts again we see a huge tower there and just a massive brick complex here's a look at one of the mills from above and this is what i mean by complex like look at all the other little homes surrounding it and then just how big this thing is so much brick millions of brick for sure to be able to put this up they call this one a round barn and i don't know exactly what it would have been but i believe this is just the tippity top of some very old buried now buried structure this is a hotel and again this is where i think you know whatever was on top is just gone and it obviously looks buried and this ancient design over all these windows very cool building jeez okay yeah when i saw this one in person i was just like oh my gosh they really turned that into a high school because <laughs> look at this thing and i think it's got a gold dome on top right now but i mean come on this is just insanity Here's another what they another high school they say so all right very impressive so not as stripped as some of the buildings we see still got some little pieces of decoration sitting on there and I've been learning more and more that when you see these little hills like this out in front that's just got some nice grass over the top of it those are stairs those are more stairs right there those are that's still part of this building it's just been covered up with a little bit of grass they say this is a 1908 postcard depicting what would be the future, but actually showing pieces of the real past of Pittsfield, Massachusetts. These architecture, this buildings, and then also plenty of aircraft. And we see right up here um, transit, like a monorail type of system sort of a thing. Here's a look at the Masonic Temple in Pittsfield. Really cool. A lot of brick. Looks like some stonework on the bottom. Pillars, ancient triangle, stripped on the top. Methodist church, very impressive. And this one, I mean, come on, like, tch, big buried, super buried right there. And whatever was on top of here just completely cropped off the top. Here's a look down one of the streets, and just, you seeing this architecture right here? Absolutely stunning architecture. And looking like it's already been there for a very, very long time. Not like these are the people that just built all this. Here's another look down a street. Again, dirt roads and all this rock, brick, stone, domes, towers, steeples, all on dirt roads. Here's a really interesting park. I'm not quite sure what to make of it, but I do think there is something to make of it. Lots of these parks, especially when they have monuments or just like uh, weird old rock structures that are just kind of in random spots, stuff like that. 
there's oftentimes more to parks. Here's a post office. At some point, I'm gonna do a full video on just all the different post offices I've found across the country because they're some of the most amazing buildings. Okay, here's that high school we looked at a little earlier that's insanity with a beautiful bridge right in front of it. Like really just, that's perfect architecture right there. That is a perfect bridge. And just like post offices, I hope to at some point do a, a video on just all the different bridges that are leftovers that are still floating around. St. Joseph's Church, a couple brick buildings, very cool, white stone. This is the Stanley Electric Mill, and I mean, if that doesn't look buried, they call this one the Tilostin Mill, sitting right on the water, tons of brick, old tower, and the Union Station. This is a really cool looking building right here. Like, look how huge these windows are. We got the, the rock switching from the stone to the brick, the Waverly Mill, Wow, YMCA building. So I definitely like to point this out everywhere I go, and these are everywhere I go, where there's old ancient rock structures that have been covered up in white siding. I really hammered that home and proved that one in Ohio, but I just like to continually show that everywhere you go, you can find white siding slapped on top of extremely old, ancient, beautiful rock structures. Okay, now you might be thinking this is the high school we were looking at. No, this is not the high school. I believe this is a hospital. Um, but wow, I mean, we've got gold dome, tower, steeple on it, which I think like this, I don't know. And this ancient triangle with the ribbon design right there, marble, marble pillars, tons and tons and tons of perfectly stacked brick, the same ancient design out of marble above and below the windows. Very amazing. And yes, this weird sheep that I'm sure is telling a lot of story that I just don't know. This just looks like one little piece of whatever this entire thing was still for whatever reason poking up right here. Like I imagine this little hill that we're seeing behind it here like yeah I imagine this is just more rock structure not a mountain. So here's taking a look down the street here you can see the kind of like similar to those that look down the street in the oldies but goodies but modern times, but you can still see these very old out of place buildings sitting right there. And then this right here is the Colonial Theater. Right across the street from it is where we um, saw those buildings I just showed you as we were looking down the street. Like just some really intense architecture right here. Maybe the first time ever I found actual wood on these buildings, but it looks like you can see right up there I don't know, maybe this facade piece that's slapped on top of the brick maybe is partially made of wood, I don't know. Here's a look at the Masonic Temple again, and you can see it's got some big pillars out front here, and it looks like, I don't know, that's kind of interesting. Right here on this one, it looks like, so this one over here is, on the outside is clearly brick. This one looks like it would be granite, but it also shows some brick right there that looks similar to over here, so I don't know. Maybe there is a brick pillar underneath that that's been wrapped in this kind of uh, granite. And then up here in the triangle, triangle's just been completely stripped off. Dark red, kind of like maroon brick building with a different type of design. See, like they've painted stuff white right there. I think the side of this Masonic building is pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like 
they've placed stone on top of the brick down here. And then like you got a little door over here, which I have a hard time believing Zach was actually a door. And here on the Masonic building, they've got 1912 scratched into the rock. Here's this building sitting right next to the Masonic one. Got the stone on the bottom. And then we wrap the top in white siding, giving it a nice little disguise. Said to have been built in 1848. And then here's a closer look at some of the stone at the bottom of it. So we've got new wood steps. And then here's the stone that I believe the whole structure is actually built out of, or maybe the stone switches into brick and then white siding has been placed over all the brick. But as you can see right here, it's literally just wood panels painted white that have been slapped on the entire building. And then here's a look at that building with the green dome, dome on top. And it's bigger than you might think, right? It's got this whole section back here as well. Here's a look at that white church from the side. And you can see right over here, I mean, I can't tell perfectly, but I believe that's brick. So I think this stone switches to brick and then that brick looks like it's actually been painted white and then there's even white siding that's been thrown on top of that. I've come across these in several places. I don't know much what to make of them, although I do think there is something to make of them and it's not just um, a clock, you know. I think maybe whatever was in here we've replaced with our type of clocks now, but I believe there was this had did something else previously. Berkshire Museum. And it's got some, a bunch of symbolism and decoration on it. Maybe original, maybe not, I don't know, hard to tell. Like it really looks like, you know, this section right here, these sections could have, you know, whatever was there could have just been knocked out and replaced with these. That looks like it could have happened. And then to give you a little idea where we're at, there's the Green Dome building. We're a little further down the street now. And here's this Athenium building. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of amazing architecture here. A, church, rock, castle type of building. And then you've got these big, you know, like they'll call them hotels or banks or whatever. But I mean, look at that granite on the bottom, clearly buried like this. Look, like, look how much deeper, like I wish we could just uncover all this earth right here and you can see the full height of this building because this is not, this is just the top of it. So this one is the Berkshire Hotel that I showed in the Oldies But Goodies. And it has a really amazing entrance right here. And it's just, I mean, this thing looks old, old, you know? And then here's the gold dome on the high school that I mentioned earlier that we'll take a look at in a second. And it's just a little ways away from where we're at right now here at the Berkshire Hotel. And then when you look at the side of this Berkshire Hotel, oh, we see that it's actually just all brick. All right, and here's a look at the Agricultural National Bank. Uh, so, 1818. Yo. Okay, if that date is real, then in 1818, they had technology, they had electricity, they had power, they had amazing transportation, they had a amazing exchange of information. Like, because this is amazing. This is all rock. It's completely stone, it's got pillars, it's got amazing decoration, the ancient triangle. And you can see a flagpole shooting off the top where that used to be a tower. This used to be a big tower sitting right on top of here. And maybe, maybe a whole bunch of stories. Like you don't live in log cabins and only have wood roads and log cabins and simultaneously do this. <laughs> like this is proof of technology, of economy, of transportation of all of it guys just in this like one building you can see all that the only thing newer about this building is the gold lettering that's been glued on to the front of this building that says agricultural national bank 1818 1908 and i found these 
everywhere also. The first place I really noticed it was in Denver, Colorado at the, at the Denver Capitol building. That, just those few blocks around it there, you find this. This is what I mean by if you if you're building all this architecture, you have all this brick, you have all this stone, you have all this tile, you have all this glass, you know how to stack it and work it and transport it all perfectly. Like, why aren't you paving roads? Like, you could easily, like as we see right here, have brick roads. If you've got millions and billions of bricks for these buildings, you've got enough and you know how to make enough to put down some roads. But we don't see brick roads like this in the story or the pictures that were given just dirt roads. I mean, this little town of Pittsfield here is just bonkers with ancient architecture. This is craziness. And I think you can really see some signs of weathering on this building, especially at the top. Look at all this perfectly stacked, beautiful stone. Like, I think this is just such a cool building and clearly the top stripped. And this church, man, so cool. Rose window, rose window on a tower. Not a rose window per se, but another type of window over here, whatever was right here, this tower's gone. And how all this brick right here is designed and layered. Let's bring the cowboys back. Hire some of them to build our stuff nowadays. We could build some amazing stuff if we just bring the builders from the 1800s back. Here's a look at the city hall from the side. So amazing. And look at this. That looks old, 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 old right there. Another church I found close by, piece of an old castle. Or I guess, mm, is this saying it's an insurance group? <laughs> Maybe reserved for, a okay, yeah, sorry. No, not a church, I guess. Just uh, an office, just some office buildings here. And then this right here is the fire station. I mean, look at this thing. Look at these huge <laughs> stone arches on it. Everything made out of brick, beautiful tower right here. Here's a close up of the brick and the stone. And I think it's really easy to see that, you know, there was more on top of the building there. There's definitely more on top of the building there. I think this tower was actually probably a lot taller and we've just added, you know, this little piece on top right here after what was ever, whatever was initially up there got removed. And then not to mention this building that's sitting behind the, uh, the fire station. I mean, that's impressive and how colorful the slate roof is up there that's so cool and if we look at this old castle right here you can see like just look at this rock how uh i mean it can just take a beating after a beating after a beating and sit there for like structures like that it could sit there for hundreds and hundreds thousands of years it's that well built same with this piece of a castle over here same thing and that's frankly why they're still sitting here not because they're a couple hundred years old but they're a couple thousand years old, maybe. All right, I'll give you a little idea of where we're at again here. Here's the Athenium that we'll take a look at in a second. <laughs> look how mind blowing that is, jeez. Okay, and then you just pan over a little bit. There's the uh, hotel we were looking at. And then here's that, uh, the, the two castle pieces we were just looking at. And then down over there, you've got the high school with the gold dome on it. And with a more close up look, we can see that there are pillars in the arches, marble, red marble pillars. Very amazing. Looks like these are, uh, maybe like maybe it's more of an orange or a red than a tan. Look at this layered arch, like that's so amazing. Again, into these marble pillars, gorgeous. And look down here, behind our tacky metal railings we can see these windows that are covered and buried because this is just the top of this building which used to be much much taller until it got buried look look how look how detailed that is to carve all that out of rock by hand they, they're gonna chisel all that then you've got a little gargoyle right here with a shield because yeah in 1818 all about the gargoyles huh And then 
right next to it here is the Berkshire County Courthouse. And then here we've made it to the high school that has this beautiful dome on top of it with the spire on top of the dome. And okay, here's what I think. I just don't know. But to me, it looks like this uh, white piece on top of the building might be new. Maybe. I don't know. Because um, I'm, I'm having a hard time really seeing what's under the paint. Uh, I don't, yeah, I just, and it was hard to, because it's so high up there, it was hard to actually get a good idea in person. So I'm not sure. Here's a look at it from the front. Pittsfield High School. Just scratched that into the rock there, didn't we? And here's a little different angle of that rock wall I was talking about. I guess it's just uh, the, the building actually extends out even further uh, in, in like the sides, these little sections of it. But I mean, that's just like, it's so massive for a high school especially at any time <laughs> but especially back then when populations were much much smaller and resources were apparently what we're told extremely limited but this got built for high school and then when we look more into like the interior pieces of these outer walls you can see nice little grassy sections which i imagine those grassy sections maybe weren't there originally because we see these windows and it looks like again just buried windows, more structure going deep into the earth. And of course, when you're in high school, you pay zero attention to what type of building you're, you're going to high school in. Like, you just don't really want to be there, you know? But man, these high schoolers go to high school in just in an insane leftover piece of a castle. And here's an, a more close-up look of that. I call it a balcony. I don't know what this is over here, but just amazing really really amazing proof in my opinion that this was not originally built as a high school but it has definitely been redesignated as one here's some art above one of the entrances so here's the entrance and then above it you know you've got these ribbons and an owl up there again this is just looks like a facade piece that's been slapped on to the original brick and then over this one you've got a lamp and again this is you know we can find these same symbols on many different buildings sometimes on a post office sometimes on a high school sometimes on a church sometimes on whatever else but these symbols are all over not always but oftentimes all over these ancient buildings and so it's like oh the church over here in this state and the post office over here and the high school here and the rich guy's mansion and the mill over here they all carry these same symbols the next video we'll check out boston which has literally all of this same stuff. Or you could say all this same stuff has the same stuff for Boston. Either way, more amazing architecture, obelisks, etc. in Boston.